I don't know if you've ever been in a position where someone with authority and power over you has mismanaged and misused that. I remember being a young pastor, uh, long story. Uh, at 18, I was pastoring a church. You're like, why would they do that? I still question that decision to this day. And I sit there and I remember I do this sermon and I speak the sermon and I thought it was like pretty good, right? I'm like, okay, maybe like a C. And I get off and people are saying, you know, nice things or whatnot. And I get called into a meeting right afterwards. And one of the elders of this church goes and he says to me, hey, you know what? That was like a very unbiblical message. And I was questioning kind of the back and forth that had to do with revelation, the fact that, uh, you know, Jesus would spit out the lukewarm. It was this kind of heavier message. And as I was going back and forth with this leader, he looks to me and he says, something that kind of haunted me for a lot, of, a lot of the time in my life. And he looks to me and he says, you know, you'll never have discipline in your life because you never grew up with a father. He says that to me. And I remember being so angry in that room and there was about seven people in the room and nobody said anything except for who was to be my wife. Isn't that incredible, right? Right, she's the only one in that room, we weren't even dating at that point, who stood up and defended me and she was furious. And I knew, you have my heart, right? <laughs> That's how we say it in Latino. <laughs> you have uh, mi corazón. And it struck me about these spiritual leaders misusing their power. You see, Annas is one of those individuals and God very much knows that these people are around and currently are still around. In fact, he used one of the prophets, his name is Ezekiel, to write a passage of scripture that I, I need you to really pay attention to, especially with the wording. It's Ezekiel chapter 34, verse two. Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel, the spiritual leaders. Prophesy and say to them, even to the shepherds, thus says the Lord, ah, shepherds of Israel, who have been feeding yourselves, feeding yourselves, should not shepherds feed the sheep? You eat the fat, you clothe yourselves with the wool, you slaughter the fat ones, but you do not feed the sheep. The weak you have not strengthened, the sick you have not healed, the injured you have with force and harshness you have ruled them. Uh, thus says the Lord, behold, I am against the shepherds, and I will require my sheep at their hand and put a stop to their feeding the sheep. No longer shall the shepherds feed themselves. I will rescue my sheep from their mouths that they may not be food for them. What's the critique? The critique of these spiritual leaders is that they are feeding themselves and what are they feeding themselves on? The sheep. These spiritual leaders who are supposed to tend and keep and care and protect are actually using the ones that's supposed to lead as food for themselves. And this is the absolute critique. You have this currently where pastors are standing on stages and saying, hey, off, get me a jet. Hey, hey, give me enough money that I can have my mansion and I can live my life with all the comforts of the world. These people who say to themselves, hey, I am from a different place. I am in the world, not of the world, and yet I find myself going after all of the world's stuff that still exists today. People standing on stages, holding Bibles, using this as a means for self-gratification, abusing their power, and you might be the victim of one of those individuals. Someone who said to you something that was so overboard. Someone who took their power and manipulated you in a way that actually harmed you probably for the rest of your life. If you are one of those people, I just wanna deeply, from, from the, the deepest part of my soul say, I, I am sorry. I'm sorry. This is not how it's supposed to be done. 